Hello, good evening. Welcome to the BBC News at 6. There are fears of food shortages in Pakistan after the devastating floods there washed away what officials say is nearly half the country's crops. So far, about 1,200 people are known to have been killed. But today, UNICEF said many more children could die from a rapid spread of diseases like cholera and malaria. About a third of Pakistan, with the worst affected areas seen here in red, is essentially underwater, according to its climate minister. That's a landmass roughly equivalent to the whole of the UK. Our correspondent, Pumzo Feklani, reports from Dadu, one of the worst hit parts of Sindh province. Meet Badal, his two days old, Najima's sixth child. As he sleeps under a tree that's become this family's only shelter, his mother is anxious. This is no place for a baby. We don't even have a tent, just this tree. He spent the whole night in the rain, running away from the flood, trying to get to safety. When we arrived, this was the only space we could find here. It gets really hot and he starts crying and won't stop. It's very difficult. Baby Badal was born in a nearby hospital, but Najima was forced to return to the riverbank because she'd left a husband and five young children. Hundreds of families have taken refuge along a flood wall in Galimori. Their homes were washed away by the floods. This was the only high ground for kilometers. The scale of these floods is difficult to imagine. 80% of Dadu district is already submerged. The families that you see around me came here hoping they'd be safe, but they now fear that things are about to get a lot worse. And with good reason. The water across this district is rising, and a quarter of a million people are in harm's way. It's not just Najima who's worried about her young family. There are children in each tent we come across, and scores of pregnant women. On the other side of the flood wall, I meet Mariam. She's due to deliver any day. Her village is buried under water 20 kilometers from here. When the floods came, all they were able to save from her old life were the clothes on their backs and four cows. I've already got eight children. Look at where we live. I can barely take care of them. Sometimes we don't eat for days. I'm worried not just about my health, but about my unborn baby. I don't even have money to go to hospital. If I get sick here, I wouldn't know what to do. Uncertainty surrounds the families marooned on this sliver of dry land. Not even the next meal is promised. Whatever little there is has many hungry mouths waiting. And as always, there isn't enough for everyone. Poems Afishani, BBC News, Dadu.